In this episode, we're going to take a look back over the interesting, life-changing year that was 2021 in the midst of a pandemic and talk about some of the most popular topics and moments for the Smart Water Show and leave you with three key takeaways that every water utility should be thinking about as we move into 2022. Let's dive into it. Welcome to episode 31 of the Smart Water Show brought to you by Badger Meter. I'm your host, Maurice Blackwell, and this is the show where we discuss your day-to-day -day water utility problems and find the most effective technology solutions for you. I think we can all admit that our lives have drastically changed because of the pandemic. 2020 and 2021 are years that have changed our lives personally, on a local level, as well as our world on a global scale. Like 9-11, most of us can remember where we were when we first heard about the tragic happenings of that day. Some of us have similar situations where there was a point where the pandemic became real for us. It could have been the loss of a loved one, a change in your career, or just adapting to the new normal of working from home. For me, March 11th, 2020 was that day I knew the pandemic was getting real. I remember this day like it was yesterday. I was on the way to visit a customer, listening to the radio, and I heard that the NBA had just suspended its 2020 season. The sports fan in me was devastated. For all the negative effects of the pandemic, I can honestly say that there were a number of positives for me as well. One of those positives was the birth of the Smart Water Show. One of the favorite parts of my job has always been to educate water utilities on the advantages of technology deployments within their water utility operations. Stuck at home like everyone else, the Smart Water Show gave me the opportunity to continue to educate and share ideas with other water utility professionals. Without the pandemic, the Smart Water Show probably would have not found its way into this world, at least not through me. Since releasing our first episode in June of 2020, we want to sincerely thank our over 1,200 followers around the globe that have connected with the Smart Water Show by sharing your comments and feedback on our topics of discussion. Looking back over the many topics we've discussed, our 14-part series on water meter sizing, selection, and installation was probably our most popular and thought-provoking topic. If you didn't get a chance to catch that series, we've set up a playlist featuring all 14 episodes, which can be found by visiting www.meterschool.com. We want to thank the many special water utility guests that shared their experiences and lessons learned related to their technology deployments in 2021. After listening to these guest interviews again, I wanted to share with you three nuggets of insight that every water utility should be thinking about as we move towards 2022. Number one, resiliency. How technology can play a major part in your resiliency plan. In our interview with Sean Benton, Water System Manager for the City of Monroe, Louisiana, Sean shared his experience dealing with a major weather event and explain how using technology made a major difference in how well the city of Monroe came through this unusual winter storm. How did you use your advanced metering technology to help you do that? Okay, well, what we did was originally was we did get out there and rode to a few areas that we know we can potentially have water main breaks. Right. And it wasn't no water to be found in those areas for us in the breakages, right? Okay. And so what we did was at that point in time, once I got back to the office, I was able to log in to the beacon system itself. Okay. To kind of dive into the analytics side of it and see what was happening in the system. Right. Well, behold, I actually found over 3,000 meters that was running wide open within our, with our distribution system, which actually causes demand on the plant itself. Number two, finding the funding. Metering as a service can be the alternative funding option that you've been looking for. In our talk with Joey Mitchell, Vice President at Utility Metering Solutions, he educated our viewers on what metering as a service is and who it's for. Let's take a listen. You know, let's let's start off. Just tell us about what NetAmp metering as a service is and really who is it for? Really, NetAmp uh, metering as a service is really for any utility. Uh, and it took us four years to really develop this, this service offering. Okay. And I say it's for it's for any utility that needs help 
upgrading their entire metering program. So okay. uh, in, in not only does it cover all the materials in terms of equipment and, and the AMI transmitters, but includes all the installation, okay. the required integration with the, the billing system. And we bring all the, the, the funding uh, as part of the program. Okay. Uh, and then finally, you, you have a service provider that's with you for the duration of the services contract. So, yes. you know, all the long-term maintenance, follow-on training, meter testing, that's all included. So okay. when we first when we first put it together, Maurice, we were thinking maybe the smaller customers. Right. We've actually been surprised on how many uh, larger clients with 25, 35, and even 90,000 okay. have, have really taken to the program. Number three, navigating the pandemic not allowing the pandemic to slow down the progress of your efficiency improvement projects. Santiago Speranza, manager of the project management office for Badger Meter, talked to us about how he and his team got very creative in managing projects in the midst of the pandemic. Back to what I mentioned earlier, so our rethinking our processes and procedures, we really took a ground up approach to reevaluate everything that we were doing, everything we typically do in a standard uh, pit installation project. Right. We took that opportunity to look at everything from A to Z and just redevelop, redevelop our training methods, uh, really the procedures that we have in place for you know, getting our installers out into the field, okay. the way we're managing our warehouse, the way we're uh, deploying our installation teams. And, really by deploying this, you know, COVID-19 safety plan, we call it, and with proper retraining of all our workers, we've definitely uh, noticed some efficiencies as far as our production, as okay. well as making sure that we're keeping everybody safe. I'm extremely excited about the many topics and guests that we have planned for you in 2022. From Vessel, the nation's first water leak detection dog, who's an integral part of the successful leak detection program at Central Arkansas Water to our deep dive into the latest water analytics software that's going to take your water distribution system to a whole new level of efficiency. As our end of the year parting gift, we're going to send 10 lucky followers our coveted Smart Water Show Tumblr, something that I personally use every day. All you have to do to enter our giveaway is to leave a comment below suggesting a water utility technology related topic that you'd like us to cover in 2022. Stay tuned for our winner's announcement during the first week of the new year. We'd like to thank you again for being part of the Smart Water Show in 2021 and wish each and every one of you the happiest of holidays as well as a safe and wonderful new year. Be well.